Jordan Peterson makes a lot of people confused. Does he believe in God? Does he not believe in God? Is he a Christian? Is he a Muslim? I want you to hear what Jordan Peterson says when asked, do you believe in God? And then I want us to seriously talk about it. I've seen you say that you certainly live your life as though God exists. Yes, I would say, well, to the best of my ability. Hmm. Right. Yeah. And I think that that's the fundamental hallmark of belief is what you, it's how you act, not right. what you say about what you think you think. Sure. What do you know about what you think? I live my life as though God exists. Y'all, do you know how powerful that is? From somebody who may or may not believe in God, he's like, I'm going to live my life as though he exists. And I'll be straight up with you right now. There are tons of professing Christians right now that are living as though God does not exist. Just listen to these statistics. Only 6% of U.S. adults possess a biblical worldview, even though 69% self-identify as Christians. Among self-identified Christians, 72% argue that people are basically good, 66% say all religious faiths are equally valid, and 58% believe good works can earn salvation, beliefs that contradict biblical teaching. And hold on, listen to this. 68% of church-going men and more than 50% of pastors view porn on a regular basis. And a Christianity Today survey found that 23% of the 300 pastors who responded admitted to sexually inappropriate behavior with someone other than their wives while in the ministry. Ministry. Jordan Peterson, someone, I don't know if he's a Christian or not, is someone that is saying, I'm going to live my life as though God exists. I'm going to fear his law. I'm going to fear his judgments. And you got Christian ministers who are teaching the word of God, who are saying they are followers of Jesus, watching pornography and sleeping around with someone other than their wife. And that was just people that admitted I don't mean to freak anybody out, but there are Christians that need to hear this because your soul may be on the line. Jesus said this in the book of Revelation. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I'm about to spit you out of my mouth. Jesus also said, and if your eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into the fire of hell. And Jesus also said, be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly father is perfect. Guys, when I read the words of Jesus, I do not see someone that's like, you know what? Just try the best you can. It's okay. Everybody stumbles and sins. Everybody falls short, you know. When I read the words of Jesus, the most loving man that ever walked the face of the earth, I see someone who's telling his followers, you need to get out of sin right now. If you want to follow me and enter into a life, you better cut out the sin that is strangling you. He doesn't say, oh, it's okay, you're good. Actually, it says in the New Testament, whoever is born of God does not sin for his seed remains in him and he cannot sin because he is born of God. What do you do with that? When I read these verses, this is what I see. If you are in pornography, you need to stop at all costs. You need to destroy your smartphone and get a flip phone that cannot access the internet. You need to hold yourself accountable. If you're a minister in church and you're preaching to people and you're having an affair, you need to step down from leadership. You need to tell your leadership team what you're doing. You need to confess your sins before you go to hell. I don't know what kind of God you're looking at. Jordan Peterson, who's not even a minister, is saying, I'm going to live my life as though God exists. Many of you Christians are living your life as though God doesn't exist. Look, all I know is that we're going to stand before God one day. And there are going to be many people that said they were followers of Jesus, that they believed in God their whole lives, that they went to church. And yet God's going to look at them and say, you lived your life as though I did not exist. You lived your life as though the Bible didn't matter, as if my words weren't true. And man, I feel fear for the souls of many Christian ministers and churchgoers because they're living their life in darkness. They're saying they believe in God and yet they're having intercourse with the devil. They're giving themselves away. When Jesus says, look, be like me in the earth, follow my example, resist the devil, turn to your heavenly father and pray to him for protection. We got more people turning to Netflix and social media than people actually turning to God with all their heart. And we know that the multitude is going to end up in destruction. We know that broad is the way that leads to destruction. But Jesus is saying, follow me, follow the narrow way. I will lead you to eternal life. It's by his grace, but we have to turn to him and turn away from darkness.